A plus size workout is usually the last thing on your mind when your daily routine is insanely busy. From getting ready for work to preparing the children for school to making sure the work career is managed to coming home and fixing a healthy meal to cleaning the house and getting the family plus yourself ready for a restful sleep. Seriously, who has time for a plus size workout? Stress levels and obesity are at an all-time high and health concerns are making themselves a priority in many people's lives. However, a plus size workout regimen is the one thing that can energize you to handle such a busy lifestyle with flying colors. Exercising reduces stress, helps you sleep better, and keeps health concerns at bay while also boosting your self-confidence. No more excuses allowed. It's a good thing the human body is made the way it is because there are many exercises you can do anywhere, at any time. All you need is your physical body weight if you're starting a new plus size workout routine. Warm up and cool down is important. When exercising, remember to get a good warm up and finish off with a slow cool down. It is important to prevent injury and is easy to accomplish no matter where you are. Walking works well for both your warm up and cool down routine. Here are five simple exercises to incorporate in your plus size workout routine. The first exercise is the tricep steps. Sit on the edge of a chair or bench with your hands next to your thighs. Lift your body out just in front of the chair with your feet flat on the floor and your knees bent. Lower yourself down so your elbows bend no more than 90 degrees and push yourself back up. Start off with a few small sets and build up from there. Straightening your legs increases the workout intensity. Um, although, for most curvy goddesses, starting this way is way too challenging. Start with knees bent. Now, if you have wrist or shoulder problems, the tricep steps is probably not a great exercise for you, so avoid this exercise. So the second exercise, plus size workout exercise, is the push-up. Now everyone knows the standard push-up position, so let's try some new things to change it up a bit. A couple of variations. Starting off doing the standard form is usually too hard for most women. Try bringing your knees down to the ground or even using a wall to push off. You can do push-ups with your hands wider than shoulder width to get more of a shoulder and chest workout. If you bring your hands together into a diamond shape near the center of your chest, you will work more of the triceps and shoulders. I love eccentric push-ups. To prepare you for the real deal doing standard push-ups, Try eccentric push-ups. Get into standard push-up position, military. Slowly lower your, your body to the ground, counting down three, two, one. Repeat five times. It looks easier than it really is. The third simple exercise are crunches, is a crunch. Um, it's standard and everyone does them, but done incorrectly, they can put undue stress on your neck and back. 
So to avoid injury, be sure to use the correct technique. The biggest risk is if you jerk your neck to give you the force to crunch. While doing crunches, keep your hands behind your head and your elbows back while using your stomach muscles to lift your head and chin towards the ceiling. Once you've mastered this technique, try lifting your legs off the ground or assuming a bicycle position with one leg bent and the other straight off the ground. The fourth simple exercise are squats. Body weight squats are a great exercise you can do anywhere and a fantastic way to learn proper technique. Start off your squats by lowering yourself only a foot or so. Then work up to deeper squats as your muscles become accustomed to the exercise. If standard squats seem to be above your level, try chair sits instead. Grab a chair, sit down and stand up. Repeat 15 times. This will help get your muscles working and the proper mechanics down, preparing you for a higher level. If you think that you're a bit more advanced and in need of, of a more intense workout, grab two 5 to 10 pound dumbbells and try performing squats while holding one dumbbell in each hand. The fifth simple exercise is the calf raise. Calf raises can be done wherever there is a raised surface, such as a stairway. If you need balance, holding on, hold on to the railing. Facing the stairs, stand with only your toes on the stair and your feet extending out past it. Standing straight up, lower your body down below the level of the stair and then back up onto your toes. Even though it seems as if this is an ankle exercise, it also works out your calf muscles. The biggest emphasis on this exercise is the ability to go from an extreme negative position with ankle below toes to an extreme positive position, contraction, ankle fully raised. With these five exercises, you have a full body plus size workout. Remember to pay attention to your body and take it easy at first. Soreness is a normal occurrence, but sharp and or horrific pain means you need to stop. Try these exercises out today and feel the healthy difference of fitness on the run. Until next time, Curvy Goddess, stay strong and stunning. And for more information on all things curvy, specifically weight loss, fitness and exercise, and health, a little bit of fashion sprinkled into the site, please visit curvygoddesslounge.com, curvygoddesslounge.com.